What's up you guys, Louie here with HLW Lawn Service and today I'm going to be doing a three year review, the Ryobi two cycle, two stroke, um, 25cc gas string trimmer and the Apache RB24 EAP 170 mile per hour handheld blower as well as kind of a little update on the trimmer plus. The first a piece of equipment that I'm going to be talking about is this Ryobi uh, two cycle gas trimmer. So basically this thing has been doing pretty good uh, overall, I would have liked to see a bit more power out of it, but you can't really expect uh, much from a residential model. If you'd like to see my first impressions or kind of like how to use it or how to restring it, um, feel free. I have some videos on that. I'm not going to get into too much detail about this machine, but yeah. So overall, um, this machine has been pretty good. Um, really, I haven't had a whole lot of issues with it. Other than the fact that uh, there's a little bit of a cheap plastic situation going on, because I can see right there, a little part of the, that broke off. Although I don't think too much more of that's going to happen. And the next thing I want to talk about regarding this trimmer is the trimmer head. Now, the, this is the trimmer head that came with it. And as you can see, it's not on the trimmer. For the reason, uh, the reason being, I believe that there is still string in this. I don't know, it's been a year since I tried to crack this thing open, but... Being that this is a resin after trimmer, this one's supposed to last it long, but I um, believe there's a uh, string still in it. And basically, one time I went to go bump this. You can see it was obviously on some black paved driveway or whatever. And uh, basically, I went to go bump some more and it wasn't bumping. As you can see, it goes down, but you really got to try. Um, so then I tried to unclog it by trying to unscrew this little red part. That's what you're supposed to do in order to get the string out um, and just kind of restring it. But that wasn't happening, so got stuck. You know, I needed a new one. Um, so I was thinking about ordering an Echo Speed Feed head, um, but I didn't end up going with that because at the GIE, I actually got um, one of these Oregon heads. Uh, I believe it's the Quick Reload trimmer head. This thing's been great, not giving me any issues. I don't think it will, um, because it's a lot more durable. It looks like it's a lot more made for bumping. It looks more commercial than obviously the homeowner Ryobi. And I don't think the strings can get stuck in there or clogged or whatever, because um, unlike the oh, Ryobi. Unlike the Ryobi head here, where you, like I said in my restringing video, you just kind of play some string in there and twist it up like an Echo Speed Feed head, except less commercial um there's these two little notches one right there and one right there that you press in basically what you'll find is that there's a little disc these little reload discs there's about two rows of the string stacked up on top of each other as you can see basically you just reload one of these in there super easy fits in your pocket uh pretty great um i definitely recommend this for landscaping crews honestly i think this is the way of the future the only thing I don't like about this line is that it frays so easy as you can see it's just splitting right down the middle. It's just kind of a weak line. I would rather that Echo had this in kind of a black diamond version, but um, you know, overall not a bad solution. I got one of these, I got about six of these free from the GIE and I think I'm going to give those out to some people in the near future. Um, yeah, I mean it's held up pretty well, so yeah. Um, not really anything bad about to say about it, uh, about the Oregon stuff, but the Ryobi stuff was crap. It really, I wasn't using it that heavily because my business wasn't as established as I wanted it to be just because of school. But, um, obviously it didn't really hold up the test of time. Um, other than that, because I've been putting Echo Red Armor or True Fuel in there in the engine, it's been working fine. No issues with it whatsoever. Um, I think in the future, because this is an expanded uh, series trimmer, I think I'm just going to get a, uh, a regular trimmer, probably an Echo 3020 or a new Red Max one in the future. Um, speaking of attachments, one thing I wanted to go over real quick, I got somebody commenting on my video saying that the Trimmer Plus representative said that um, this attachment would not work with the Ryobi. That's what the representative had said, but kind of weird because it works perfectly fine with the Ryobi. have had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, yeah, I don't know why they would say that, but it totally does work. And uh, I would recommend it 
uh, if you're looking for some just if you're not doing that much hedge trimming but you'd still like to get an attachment per your trimmer that works fine uh, it works good articulating head everything um, just got to maintain it by putting grease on the blade but other than that it's been working perfectly fine uh, so I don't know why the company would have said that but they did and that's kind of what so the next item on my list to talk about uh, that I've had for three years now this is its third season is um, the Hitachi handheld leaf blower now this thing has been a beast it's worked pretty perfect for almost every application that I've used it for so far uh, blowing out grass look at my dirty garage um, yeah it's worked perfect for those little applications I really don't see a reason to get a backpack blower if you're just gonna be blowing off grass however when it comes to those wet heavy leaves that have been compacted in the soil you know, for spring cleanups and stuff like that, this thing is absolute garbage. I mean, it's not garbage, but I would really need a lot more power. 175 miles an hour sounds like a lot, but in retrospect, it really isn't that much. And I could do with a bit more. So, in the future, I might be upgrading to a more powerful either handheld blower or just a backpack blower altogether. Um, but moving on, I really haven't had any issues with this thing um, at all. The only thing I wish that they would have is... This switch, as you can see, if I press it, it stays forward. So it really sucks when I've been pulling it 15 times and then I realize, oh, stupid, it's not starting because I have the uh, the kill switch on. <laughs> so that kind of sucks, but, I mean, as long as you get used to it, it's not a big deal. Um, the only other complaint I guess I would have with it, uh, well, it's not a complaint, it's an issue. Basically, you can see there, you can kind of see, that's the exhaust box or whatever, manifold. Um... You can see oil is leaking out of that, and um, ooh. and I don't know if you can see, but there's like some oil kind of leaking out in the exhaust pipe tubing. So yeah, this thing has had a bit of an oil leak, um, and I'm not really sure why, what I would owe it to. I've been using pre-mixed fuel, which is supposed to be perfectly mixed. Um, I really haven't noticed it like this year so far. It was mainly towards the end of last year. So, I, I mean, I don't really know why it would be like that. However, uh, nonetheless, it's been working fine. I've had no issues, no loss in power. It starts right up. And even since I've been using the true fuel, it, um, it starts up and it takes only a little bit to rev up to full potential. And it's great. It's been handling great. Um, perfect for what I use it for. Um, future applications, I'm not really sure. I'll probably just keep it. I, I mean, until, it, until I have issues with it. Because it's been working fine. I don't intend to replace it anytime soon, unlike the Ryobi. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, um, I would like to apologize that I took that pretty long hiatus off of videos. I don't really know why I took it. I don't have a good reason. It just kind of happened. Um, so, uh, for the future, I kind of want to stick to an upload schedule of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think that's a pretty good schedule to stick to. Um, specifically because I have school and stuff like that. That I can't really do videos during the week. Plus, all the main action is kind of on the weekends anyway. I only mow on the weekends. Um, so a future video that I want to do, probably, it's probably going to end up being um, mid next week just because that's when I'm getting the equipment. Uh, I got a new piece of equipment end of last season, but it broke down this season. I think it just needed the carb clean. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I don't want to spoil it, but the fact that it's in the shop means I can't have any mowing videos with it. Um, or any mowing vlogs with it because it's in the shop and I can't do a setup because it's in the shop. Uh, well, I kind of just spoil it. It's a, it's, it's a new mower, but you guys don't know what it is. Unless you've been following me on Instagram at HLW Lawn Service if you would like to get notified of all the updates, early videos, stuff like that, or just see some behind the scenes stuff that I do on job sites and stuff. I always update you guys on my story just a little bit behind the scenes that you don't see in the YouTube video. So, like I said, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, the handle is at HLB Lawn Service. I'll put it somewhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just would like to say thank you for watching. Thank you for being appreciative. I think we got ourselves to 144 subscribers, and I wasn't even uploading. That's insane, you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to tell me your favorite part in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.